All right, guys, I want to welcome you back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. So I was finally able to test out my underwater camera housing that I made, and it seemed to work all right. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the footage here that I was able to capture. It allowed me to take pictures and do video all at the same time while able to zoom in and out the, the water was a little bit murky it wasn't as clear as it was last time that I went out but I think that has to do with the angle of the Sun I think because it was probably around five five o'clock when I was out there and I already had the sun in the west it was giving me that murky look and the last time I went out there it was it was about noon and I could see quite clearly so if you notice right here there's a couple of bluegill that swim by Here, if you look up on the right, there's a catfish that darts by. There you go. the tail to the tail moving right there there's a catfish hidden in there right there he just went off screen there's his tail up on the right corner I actually didn't see that catfish until I was watching the video later on This guy, he was just hanging out in the bush there. He was quite photogenic. I'll get a good close up of him here in a second. There he is. Nice flathead. It was maybe three or four pounds. I'm sure he looks a lot bigger in the video because I was maybe a couple inches away from him. He was very cooperative. Throughout throughout this video of this flathead on the very top of the on the screen you'll notice a crawdad hanging out and I actually didn't notice that crawdad I was too busy looking at, the, at that flathead but I didn't notice that crawdad with the red claws was hanging around right on top of that that branch there There were quite a few other catfish in there that I was unable to get on film. They were stuck way underneath that bush and I had a hard time getting in getting in there with the camera to film them. managed to handle him a few times before he decided to leave. He's very determined on staying in his spot there. But 
but just as an example I wanted to show you guys because these flatheads sit there you can actually touch them and that's why they're popular for hand fishing and you'll see how I can kind of handle them a little bit and had I had both hands free I could have probably caught this fish See right there how I'm touching him and he's not moving. Slowly work towards the, the lip. Try to grab a hold of that lip. He's still not putting up a fight at all. Right there trying to force my fingers into his mouth. He kind of backs away. But then he comes right back to where he was sitting. So now I try trying to get my thumb in there and he finally backs off I'm not liking that too much there he goes I want to thank you guys for watching and as always be safe on the water Take care.